Hello and welcome to the Planet Beer TV speed dating sessions from the backstage at Rivington Farm Trip 2024. Oh yeah. Yeah, Paul, what are we doing today? Uh, this place, Chris, is packed to the rafters with quality breweries, so we thought we'd take the opportunity to get to know as many of them as we possibly can. Yeah, so we're going to do quick 15-minute sessions where we're going to ask them questions, a bit, bit like speed dating. Yeah, a bit like speed dating. So we can ask them like, who are you? What, what do you do? How much money are you on? What's your relationship like with your parents? Uh, will you marry me? That kind of thing. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Depends who comes in. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of breweries to get through, plenty of content. So today, who have we got, Paul? Today's brewery is... Uncharted. Okay, so we are here now with Tom from Uncharted. Tom, thanks for joining us. Hey, Tom. My pleasure. Um, I mean, let's get straight to it. Who the hell are you and what do you do? Uh, I have a small microbrewery, nano brewery, in the center of Antwerp, uh, which is in the north of Belgium. Nice. Um, very small. I'm probably the smallest brewery uh, uh, present at the festival today. And uh, I make mostly hop forward beers. Uh, I do some stouts and some uh, some sours, but mostly hoppy beers. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Cool. So, so you know, you're 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 from, you know, the home of beer as far as i'm concerned yeah, anyway i, I know, fucking I, I, love belgium it's we, my we, favorite country we, for we're massive belgian files in terms of beer and like nothing else just a bit um but <laughs> waffles <laughs> waffles whatever let's, let's, let's not be stereotypical yeah. Yeah. right but um so what's it like being a, a i guess a modern craft brewery in the home of tradition yeah it's a good point because belgium indeed everyone looks at belgium as the beer country in the world and so on but the grass is always greener so I personally look at the UK. In Europe, definitely UK for beer. It's it's you're making the best hop forward beers uh, in would, Europe. Would, at would least. you would you say the UK over somewhere like America, for example? Well, no, but in Europe. Uh, oh, in Europe, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, it's not Europe. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon, too soon. Uh, no, 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 look, it's no, the <laughs> states for sure. Obviously, Let, let's not get into political boundaries, right? Um, but yeah, <laughs> well, no, um, but the UK, of course. I mean, uh, when I got into craft beer, at least because I was a very Belgian beer drinker. Mm. Duval, Orval, uh, Triples, uh, whatever, uh, Trappist beers. But when I had my first uh, Brew Dog uh, beer, yeah, I was it. really... Yeah. Yeah, you, I, you, I, you, you are not the first yeah. uh, brewer or you know member well, of a brewery who's yeah. mentioned Brew Dog as, as a foundational. Of course. Well, also because Brew Dog threw out these uh, recipes, which now I realize they were just like a little cheat sheet, eh? a little cheat sheet. Um but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd slowly got into these hoppy beers and the Punk IPA was one, the yeah. um, uh, Gamma Ray yeah, from the guys. Um, oh, uh, Beaver Town. Beaver Town, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then there was this uh, Brussels Brewery called mm. Brussels Beer Project. No, they, well, they brought yeah. out, oh, cool. They brought out this um, Delta IPA. And those three beers, I feel in my recollection, they all came out at the same time. And they smell like, you know, like like fruit or like danky or whatever but and and they tasted like dry and juicy and not sweet but like the bitterness did, did that kind, love. did that kind of go against like how you had your palate trained as a belgian yeah. classic traditionally spear drinker i mean because yeah, it, it's really hard to think of anything from that side of the fence that mm -hmm. kind of represents this style of beer we're drinking today yeah. yeah i mean you came across a ipa in belgium in flanders at least uh ipas eh? ipas but th they'd always be a bit you know with a typical belgian yeast like banana ish yeah. you know belgian the ipas yeah yeah and okay they're bitter but definitely not juicy fruity using american hops uh definitely not so for me that was new those three breweries got me into yo what's this ipa i like this stuff and then yeah bro dog they 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 put out their recipes and I was like, Yo, maybe I want a homebrew as well and, and let's try this and but and I made a couple of um, breweries that are in, in Belgium that mm -hmm. are like more craft focused ones oh, and there was like there was like Decker Brewery. Do you know, do you know Decker? Decker? No. Yeah, they're no. like over towards Eep or Eep. Ah, could be yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, the, well, it was it was really cool to see an actual Belgian. <laughs> Belgian oh. brewery that was doing something like more in the in the, in the yeah. modern. We're ones. very late to the party, but we have some amazing modern craft beer breweries in Belgium. 
the main one I have to shout out to is La Source. Eh? La, oh, La, yes. La, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, gods. yeah. For me, uh, Mathieu, the head brewer, the owner, he, he's, he's, a, he's like 10 years younger than I am, but he's my godfather. I look up to this guy. He makes the best craft beer for me in Belgium. That's a big Definitely shout. Che- oh, check this guy out. La I, Source. I, 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 I've, had, I've had one of their beers. Go, around the corner from De La Seine. Which is also a very good brewery. Well, okay, like a 10, 15 minute walk and you're in their tap room. Um, no, La Source is. Uh, What's funny is big... none of these places sound Belgian. They sound not French, uh, not French, it's Spanish. Like, oh, La Source, uh, De La Seine. Yeah. Man, or is it just my ears? Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's probably good. just your ignorance of. Uh, yeah, oh, God, yeah. Oh, but no, in that, my that's, mix, that's never been in doubt. In my, in my <laughs> mix of accents, uh, I, I was raised in English at home, so I don't have a typical Flemish oh, okay. accent. So. Um, uh, but are, are, you from ex- are you from Antwerp? Yeah, I'm from yep, Antwerp. Yep. Yeah, my mother is an American who came over late seventies. Oh wow! And uh, needed a plumber. That was my father. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> I've seen this movie. <laughs> So round of applause for the full reference. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank um, you, thank but, you. But but then my name is Morel, which is kind of English. Yeah. Because my father's uh, father, uh, he was from Darlington. Oh, so well, up Darlington. North, yeah. Yeah. But he, uh, in the Second World War, landed in uh, Normandy, Sword Beach, and then made his way through the Ardennes and then ended up in Antwerp with the when they liberated Antwerp. And he met my grandmother. So. You are definitely the most this interesting historical person oh, yeah, 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 we've yeah. spoke to today. Oh, yeah, of course. Just in the, in the interest of time, I mean, that, that you could have made all that up, but um, <laughs> why would you? Uh, in the interest of time, so we're drinking one of your beers here. So we've, yeah. we've got over to the tap and we, 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 we've taken a taken a sample. Yes. That sounds wrong. I see um, faces everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, tell us about this because it's fucking uh, brilliant, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I mean, I had to look it up myself, honestly, because <laughs> no, no, but because uh, my, my, my concept is it's, it's a very, very small brewery again. I only make a, it's a brew barrel system. It, and it's just you. No, well, it's me. Yeah, I'm the brewer. I do recipes and all. I have a business partner, Richard, who, who started the brewery with me. Right. Great guy. He um, uh, has a craft beer bar next door. I used to bring my beers to his bar, and he'd be like, "Yo, he's a Dutch guy." So, Wait, what, no, what, never what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> well, he, yeah, he's a Dutch guy. Let's make money. No, he's a great guy. No, no, no. He's a great guy. Has a fantastic craft beer bar in the center of Antwerp called Station Twelve Eighty, and uh, oh. he, he was yeah. Been there. Oh, cool. Yeah. So my brewery's right next door. Our brewery. Wow. And he he was like one of the first guys who said, uh, yo, we need to make a brewery together. Yes. So uh, uh, <laughs> because, because he's a Dutch Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's, he's the first guy who said, oh, because I was homebrewing. I wasn't doing it to, I didn't want to do the whole Belgian thing. And like, oh, you homebrew? Cool. You should make a business out of this. No, that's, that, that was not me. I was in it for sharing beer. He's yeah. the first guy who said, oh, yeah, but we keep it small. And, and you know, it's all about craft and so on. So, um, yeah. So the concept that we have is that, I brew six new beers every month, right. never the same, never the same recipe, never the same style, never the same, you know, there's so many factors in beers, you know, from from malts to hops to water profile to acidities to time or extraction. I mean, it, it's crazy. So this beer I have to look up and it's a session IPA, uh, obviously very heavy on, on the on the wheat and the, and the oats. Um, I like making hazy IPAs that are not too um, silky. To, and and I find I do add a lot of oats and so on, but I do and, and wheat, but I I do a slightly more uh, West Coastish uh, water profile right. just to make it a bit crispier. I like adding hops in the boil for hazies because I do like a bit of bitterness in it. Kind of in my mind, it scrapes your palate, yeah, yeah. and it makes you ready for another sip. That's um, a really good description yeah, of that actually because I was I was tra- I was because tra- it. I was thinking oh, pillowy it isn't really because as you said it doesn't it's there, it doesn't, it, 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 it's there but there's something about how it's sort of what, yeah it's, uh, it's pulling it's your taste across. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's, you, it's fucking brilliant by the you way. gotta yeah. add hops in the boil or it's not beer I don't I mean mm. not not only the whirlpool I don't believe in that yeah but that's I mean, what I do that's yeah. the thing with like with Belgium and the brewing heritage mm. it's just it, I mean is it true that from the age of six upwards school kids take uh, in the lunchbox to school like a Trappist rush for definitely yeah. not no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we do because we have this heritage this culture uh, that no but yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Rush that's, that's where the numbers come from yeah. right? so if you say yeah, 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 yeah love it yeah, that's, that's how I understand it anyway. <laughs> no, yeah. but we do I mean the legal drinking age is 16 in Belgium which already is if you talk to people abroad, mm. it's strange, but it isn't Liberal, to us. Yeah. It's something which is part of what 
not what we do, but it's there and we don't stigmatize it. Like I have a 16 year old now and he's, uh, okay, I'm a home, I used to be a homebrew and I brew as well. He's been tasting forever or like smell this, yeah. you know, what, what, but you don't want to scare them uh, about this dangerous thing that only us grown ups do. Yeah. No, you yeah, want to yeah. teach and just show you, you can you drink responsibly, it. and there's something behind this. It's beautiful. It's the right glass, the right temperature. It's beautiful. You know, it, it's it's. It, it, I mean, it's part I just of our wish culture. that was the attitude adopted across the world. To be honest with you, yeah, it, could, yeah. it would solve a lot of problems. Well, I think I find like with the English uh, or English, Irish, or mostly English drinking culture, it's uh, <laughs> oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we're idiots from a very early age. Yeah, yeah, but it starts with the the name of a, uh, a volume of beer you call it a pint of beer yeah pint means 568 milliliters of beer yeah i don't in belgium we don't go can i have a 250 milliliters of beer please no one, it, one <laughs> of the things that it always happens every time because I, I go to belgium a lot i try to go yearly uh, That's so you need yeah. to come to antwerp yeah absolutely not done antwerp do yeah. um it's wonderful but every time i come back the one thing that i bring other than a hangover is <laughs> Is that kind of mentality of why the fuck are we drinking in pints all the time? Yeah. What's this volume yeah. drinking all about, man? It's like, why but, can't I just go over to a bar and say no. I want just a half of that yeah. instead? And and very quickly, like you do that, but it still gets beaten out of you just with mm. time, just because yeah. you, you just default to. Well, there's there's, but, there's also a mentality. I mean, you, you can only speak from an English point of view, obviously, yeah. but it's like you know, I remember growing up if. Mm -hmm when you first hit the pubs, if you didn't have a pint of the thing, then you were oh, yeah. chastised for it. And it was like, yeah. uh, uh. And it's like, what's that about? In fact, I rarely drink pints anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but that but that's what's great and that's full circle. Come to then the UK craft beer scene. Mm. Like mm. what do I love about the craft beer scene is that ninety nine percent of the pubs you can go for a third, two thirds and a pint. Mm. I love that that there's this choice yeah. of volume. We we don't really have that at home. I yeah. find in the modern craft beer bars, and I do love that a lot about here. If you have your typical people want a pint of double IPA, like I don't know why you'd want to, but <laughs> what, where but, am I? <laughs> you know, you can go for a third. I love that. Great. Uh, it, I think it, like the festival now isn't it all thirds. I love it. I yeah, yeah well, it, it, perfect. It, it depends who you get sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit, sometimes you have a very big third. Yeah. Um, but I think that, that's really interesting, quite mm -hmm. heartening to hear. So I think a lot of that culture is represented here in this festival. Um, mm. So, you know, we've said it to everybody, and I think everyone's saying back to us, this is one of the best beer festivals we've ever been to. I've not seen one like this. this is, I mean, what, <laughs> no, no, it's beautiful. It started it? with this morning, being invited to go feed yesterday, spent grain to the cattle. Did I you mean, meet Steve the Bull? Yeah. Uh, he was uh, very excited. He's a big lad, isn't he? <laughs> he's big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. No, he's. Yeah. Uh, his were all the same heights, yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> Not not like uh, Stu from State of Coins. No, testicles. no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. No, but it is a very special place and atmosphere, and it's only festivals only been going for a few hours, but I'm like enthralled. It, it's just, and I've done a good few festivals with the brewery and as a just a participant, but this is really special. Oh, it's amazing. Um, what 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 does this kind of event and this kind of festival mean to you? I mean. Uh, we, we'll frame yeah. it in a different yeah. way with you because obviously you, you, you're from Belgium. Travelled over, yeah. You travelled over. So international beer festivals. Mm. You know what? What does that mean to you as a brewer, brewer and a business? Mm. Yeah. So that's interesting because I'm not. It's not my full time gig. So okay. I have a oh, full time you, job. Wow. Oh, yeah. nice. So yeah. we, you also oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah. Also this is a regard, passion then. project, very much. I, I'm a. I'm the head of a primary school uh, in, in Antwerp. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now write lines. Uh, uh, it's going nowhere, this guy. But uh, <laughs> No, but it's, it's for me very much a, 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 a passion. I, I love what I do with this brewery. I love the beers. I love the scene. It's just madness. So mm. when I come, when, when I'm able to go abroad mm. or, or just festivals in the country, but abroad especially, for me, all of this extra work I do, to have like a moment like this, it's a celebration. Oh, wonderful! For me, it, it's, for me it's awesome. pure celebration. It's not about the money because as a brewery, you don't re you don't make money. At no, a no one's in this for money. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. yeah. You, I mean, <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah. No, but you don't make money as a brewery at a festival either. You sell the kegs, and that's great. But it's about the fun, 
and and I like to talk and talking to the people drinking my beers and then it's about education, it. learning, making yeah. those connections. Yeah. And yeah. Slowly yeah. building, well, slowly. I mean, continue to build this awesome scene of craft beer that is not only in England. Uh, we're get we're catching up to you guys. Yeah. No, uh, fuck yeah. No, 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 no. But it's it's weird because come join us. The water's warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I know. I know why the water's warm yeah. around, around you. Yeah, but that, that, that's that's your age. Um, <laughs> so. I th- I th- yeah, I-, I think that just covers what I've kind of had in my head about this whole thing. It just feels the world's a lot smaller when you're at a place like yeah, this. Yeah, you know I mean? and fuck yeah. And, and uh, you know, fuck boundaries and, and shit like What's that. your plan? I mean, are you, you going to say, obviously, as a nano brewery, or do you want no. do you want to build it up a little bit? Or, or I'm, what are you I'm happy seeing with? what's happening. I'm yeah. seeing what's happening. Yeah, I'd love to. Do you know what I want to do? I want to keep brewing beer. Fuck so, yeah. So uh, that's because I enjoy the process of the whole day you work on a beer and then you need two, three weeks to finish it off and in mm. the meantime oh you know maybe plant that one in and so yeah. on and i have because i only have three fermenters in a bright tank i'm constantly have four beers on the go but i'm already thinking of the fifth the sixth the seventh yeah nice. so i just want to keep brewing that's and, and keep yeah, doing yeah. Festivals the, the rest and, of the stuff actually can just overcomplicate just that yeah. if that's what you're in it for i mean uh, the, the 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 rest of it about yeah. trying to upscale is actually just a headache that you don't yeah. necessarily i mean yeah, yeah. If, I, if i win the lottery then yeah then suddenly yeah. i'll uh, okay but I'm just enjoying myself. No, it's it's it's, it's a zen place to be, I think. Oh. So w- the one question we need to ask you, mm-hmm. um, which we, we're asking everybody, if you could do a collaboration with <laughs> anyone, <laughs> no, I'd, I'd hope you'd say someone who's who's still brewing. But you know, uh, yeah. any, anyone, and and even if it's someone who's here, actually, that yeah. might be quite good. Who would that be? Oh man. And it's kind of the same as like I, I play music as well, and and so I'm oh, a, I'm play? a music guitar, and uh, oh, we'll have a chat like yeah. But 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 the thing is, so but I'm I'm not a good musician, but I'm a mega music fan. Same. So, uh, but but beer is the same. So I make beer, and my beer's all Mate, rubbish that, that, compared to. No, it isn't. No, no, that, that, that that is yeah. don't fucking talk brilliant. yourself. Yeah. Down, oh, so, so you do have a fluffer. Yeah. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, but but so the. Re- <laughs> yeah. There was a pre-interview. Uh, yeah, uh, the, 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 the thing is, that I, I'm such yeah. a fan of big breweries as well. Uh, well, who I call big, and and I would have to go, even though the UK has the best breweries at the minute, like from Track to Cloudwater to whatever. Flock is killing it right now. Yeah, yeah. But I'd have to go for some West Coast US breweries. Do uh, it. But there's so many, but Russian River, some like that. Oh, Chillers, yeah. oh, I would love to. I'd love to talk to that guy. No, and Firestone Walker, B, uh, uh, Rip, uh, oh, uh, Green Cheek is. It, oh man, I'd Green settle on, those. I'd yeah. settle on, uh, uh, on on spending an afternoon with Evan. Uh, I met him a couple times. Nice. Uh, the the owner, the, well, the brewer. I think Green Cheek because West Coast IPA is alive. The West best Coast, coast is, best is coast. the best coast. Yeah. That's what, fuck the, yeah. yeah, the the, the best. West Coast I've ever had yeah. was from Green Jig. Yeah. But it, and it was in Manchester, it was fucking spectacular. There's like a, there's like a recurrent theme, I think, actually, uh, around this weekend in the sense that like we love the hazy beers because we yeah. just yeah, you it's it's, yeah. it's 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 the staple. The hazy grees. But there's actually more now of a loving for your West Coast IPAs and your lagers. It's actually started yeah. to come back. You know, it's yeah. like it's modern uh, West Coast. Yeah. It's it's all about I think and I hope and that has to do with why I make my my hazy is a bit bitter. It's about quaffability, yeah. But wanting to have several because I mean yeah. you, you can fill yourself up on a pint of double IPA and then go it's over. Yeah. Full uh, bloated, I, sick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> West Coast IPA. IPA. That's your, that's your, that's your uh, grinder. Uh, take, uh, it's, it's the name of my autobiography. Take, full, yeah. <laughs> full bloated, sick. Yeah. <laughs> oh cool. Oh wait. Oh, well, my mom says hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, but uh, but it's all the w- modern West Coast IPA and then lagers. That's that's the way it forward. I I, I yeah. hope and think. Oh man, look, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be the uh, time Nazi again. So um, we, we're well over time. Mm-hmm. We could speak to you all day, mate. Cool. Uh, as we keep saying to every brewer, we'll come actually. over. We'll come over to Antwerp. And please do. I, I mean, it's, please it's, do. It's cheap enough to get there, man. It's not yeah, there. It's I mean, there as well. it's 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 a place I've been, but I, I just want to. Explore and you know, and, I mean, now you're there. We'll, and we'll, Antwerp's so close to Brussels, yeah, Amsterdam man. to Ghent, yeah. Ghent, killer city. I love, yeah, I'll, I'll love Ghent. Um, yeah, 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 it's yeah. Bruges without tourists. Come exactly, yeah. exactly the way I pitched yes, it because it I, I was saying to a mate, it was, uh, it you was pitched it to who? No, uh, a mate, it was <laughs> the like, tourist board. No, 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 uh, mate, it was going over. It's like <laughs> mummy and daddy Brussels. are arguing. We're, we're, thi- <laughs> we're thinking about doing, uh, we're going up to Bruges. 
uh, <laughs> any tips for Bruges? And I was like, I mean, my tip for Bruges is like stop off halfway and go, <laughs> don't, don't go. go to Ghent. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's fucking beautiful. It is yeah. new. And, and a great brewery times. in Ghent, by the way, Doc D O K. A fantastic yep. brewery yep. Uh, uh, and great food as well. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, well, anyway, we, we could talk about this all day, but no. look, Tom, Tom, it's been fucking brilliant to speak to you. I could speak to you forever, and I will. I'll catch up yeah. with you later. We'll have, we'll have a chin. Thanks, mate. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. Yeah.